What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Is It Real? The show. Before you go, you ask Shay, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm never going to steer you wrong. That's right, you guys. And tonight's feature film is Spider-Man. Yes, the homecoming, you guys. Another Marvel re brought back the classic again. Because if you don't remember, earlier in the 2000s, they remade it. And here we go again. I think this movie's been made, I think this is at least the third time um, an attempt has been made on Spider-Man. Um, this one, I I really like it. It's really good, you guys. Um, Tom Holland, let's start with the actors. Tom Holland did a great job in this movie, you guys. He's the guy that plays Spider-Man. Phenomenal job in this movie. You got your man, you know, Robbie Downey Jr. playing Tony Stark. Kills it once again. You can't go wrong. Michael Keaton's in this movie, man. <sighs> that man needs to do more movies. I love him, man. And he he plays a little bit on the dark side, but hey, you already know that when you saw the trailer. <laughs> man, and he did a phenomenal job, man. You got a guest appearance from Bokey Woodbond. Like, where he been at? Bokey Woodbond in the movie, you guys. And like, it's a slew of other actors that's in this, man. It's, it's, it's a phenomenal piece. You will enjoy it. Ah, oh, man, the storyline in this was really good. Um, it did get slow at times, but I understand they're taking it all the way back to the beginning for Peter, Par excuse me, Peter Parker when he was in high school and everything. So, like, it, it, it's really geared towards him being into high school. So, like, to me, it felt a little slow when he was doing that. But they picked up the pace with the action. If not the action, then the comedy. The comedy in there was money. It was spot on. It was good. And it was there when it needed. I just thought it could be a little bit more. So it didn't drag as much. But, you know, it, it kept it moving. It kept it moving. The movie was good. It was solid. Now, the thing I had to get into, the CGI. The CGI on this movie was money. It was really good, you guys. You're looking at it. You're looking for the flaws. It's, it's hard to find any flaws in these Marvel movies, man. They really pay attention to detail. Granted, I did. Oh, I can't say where I saw it, but you may see it. It's, it's, it's nothing to cry over at all. I mean, these these guys are so good with the CGI now. It's, it's, it's amazing. They did a phenomenal job. And the actors to act like what isn't there that's not there that is there on the screen. <laughs> so I'm saying that really, really fast. Anyway, let's keep it moving, you guys. Now, this movie right here is good, you guys. I'm going to give it that Tillamook Sharp. That's right. That means run, run, run very fast. Go to the theaters and go see this movie. I can't wait till I get it on Blu-ray and add it to my collections, man. I just, whoo, and it ties in. Also, um, stay after because after the credits because there's going to be more of the movie so like there's going to be an initial credits and then there's something at the very very end when all the credits are done so if you want to know now you know you know what i'm saying so yeah stay after you're going to see some more stuff at the credits yeah there's a little <laughs> a little treat so you have to be patient be really patient when you're watching the credits to see what's at the end. There you go. Anyway, you guys, keep it moving. I got some Goldies but Odies, you guys. And tonight's Goldie but Odie is Tuskegee Airmen. That's right. Now, this one is a classic. It's based off real life events with the Tuskegee Airmen. Not that, oh, I almost went through up in my mouth. That Red Tails, which was horrible. Dragged down some really good actors in that movie. And Oh, anyway, I don't know. That that movie was horrible. Don't don't see Red Tails. But see this one. To see Harrison. This one had Lawrence Fishburne, Cuba Gooden Jr. Man, like dude, it's got so many good people in here. I think uh what is it? Pains and isn't it? It's like all star cow. Malcolm Jamal Warner. Man, everybody mom in this movie. This movie is really good, man. And of course your man from Brooklyn Nine Nine. <laughs> uh oh, 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 let me get his name. It's Andre. Yeah, Andre, yeah. yeah. He's in his movies too. It's hard. Let me keep moving, you guys. Another Goldie for Odie for you is not too old, but still old enough. If you haven't seen Swordfish, yes, John Travolta, Don Cheadle, Hugh Jackman, Holly Berry. You talking about all star cast? Like this movie, crazy good, man. If you haven't seen it yet, slipping. 
go see where it was before Logan became Logan. <laughs> anyway, man, this movie was really good, you guys. I mean, actually, you think it was? It was probably going around the same time period. So yeah, I'm all that was going on. But yeah, really good movie. Don't sleep on it. Go buy it. Just just don't rent it or whatever. Just buy the movie. It's worth it. Trust me, you want to own it digitally, download it, whatever. Anyway, you guys, I want to thank you once again for tuning in to Is It Real? The show before you go, you come at Shay Doe. And I appreciate all the fans that's been hitting me up. Continue to do that. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, I'm everywhere. Twitter, no excuse. Holler at your boy. And I'm going to continue to see these movies for you. So I got another couple of movies coming up. And I think what we got Planet of the Apes is coming out next week and a few other ones. And I'll keep you posted, but you'll see me again next week. And I'll see you guys at the movies. So peace. <laughs>